Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Fun Time Crafts 24-7. I have a cute little project share here for you. Um, this uses the Create a Scene card die set, as well as this month's Stamp of Life um, stamp and die set, the Bird Bath to Stamp and Dies. Uh, let me show you what those are, and then I'll show you the card a little more close up. So this here, let's see. These are the darling little stamps and dies for this month's kit for Stamps of Life. Aren't those cute? They're so adorable. So I used the butterfly, uh, the birds, and then I die cut the bird bath out with the dies. And I just used the intricate die. Uh, stamped all those a few times in memento black ink and then alcohol colored them. And then cut them out with my scanning cut. Um, and then... The card base is using the, uh, let's see, it's called the Create-A-Scene, uh, Create-A-Scene card die set. And uh, I just used the card base that came in the set. So just the, the big layering die. And then, um, you see it comes with all those, and I just used that really big one. And then um, to get my score lines and everything for the card base. And then in the bundle, it came with, uh, these two sets of dies and I just use this set here. I used this tree one and then I used um, This little birdhouse one and I cut them out in powdered sugar and then I colored them in with my alcohol markers and um, so then after I um, Okay, so then on the card base too. Um, I just cut out a piece of um, Four and a four and a half by five and a half powdered sugar card sock and I took my stencil my cloud stencil and I just stenciled clouds on the background you see how it's it wraps all the way around there and then the hillside border I used an MTF slimline border stencil to go across the whole thing um with the hillside this one's called um slimline drifts and hills uh, uh MFT and then um I did that in Stamps of Life's uh, Green Apple. And uh, just uh, blender brushed it on there with the same with the clouds. And then, um, so then um, I just glued the tree, uh, that tree background die. I glued it straight to the panel. And then the next one is popped up there just a little bit out. And then the two grass um, little panel inserts there. Are made with this Fisker's uh, grass border punch. I punched them out in green and then um, highlighted them with the green apple. Uh, kind of give them a little bit more depth. Um, then, let's see, Spectrum Noir, the little butterflies, um, after I glued them on there, I uh, used, oh, I used a ladybug out of the ladybugs to love. I used that little tiny one right there. And then... Let's see, Spectrum Noir, the water in the little bird bath with blue topaz, a uh, sparkle, Spectrum Noir sparkle marker. And then, oh, and then this month's kit also came with this super fun scripty um, sentiment die as well as the shadow. And um, I cut that out of holographic and glued it onto there. And then, um, and then I added a, Sprinkled a few little paper flowers here and there from um, this Recollections uh, paper flower set. And I just used ones with the glitter and no beads on them. And then um, I think it came out so darn cute. It's just a lot of fun. And um, I wanted to show you too, it actually folds flat for shipping. So it fits really nice into an A2 size envelope. I did find with these uh, create a scene cards that they um, like to fold one way over the other. And so if you're having a little trouble getting it to fold flat, just try shifting it the other way. And it, it might work better that way for you. So um, anyhow, uh, let me know what you think of the little project down in the comments below. Hope you guys are having a great week. We'll catch up again with you really soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.